Previously on Backpacker Diaries. I ended up scoring a permit to explore Cane Gulch over about 22 miles and change. Exiting out at Bullet Canyon here in a couple days. So setting up for a couple nights here in the Red Rock Canyon country. Looking forward to seeing a number of Anastasi ruins and some natural arches. Today is October 23rd, 2017. Just below the junction with Toddy Canyon here in Grand Gulch. Underneath this fairly deep alcove, we come to our next ruin. And from the far end, there's just more and more rooms emerging in this same Anastasi ruin site here. With a couple of them up top. And quite a nice view from the alcove, especially with all these cottonwoods changing color here in October. In Grand Gulch here, coming around the next bend brings us to the next set of Anastasi ruins. This might be what's known as split level ruin, given the height of the building in the back. Like we saw in the other ruins, we see the wood integrated with the rock construction. And as inviting as the windows and doors may seem to be, it's not something that we want to climb through. In fact, that's why they have this little chain strung up around to discourage people from doing just that because many ruins have sustained such damage over the years. bend another Anastasi ruin mostly intact from what I can see here with another neighboring ruin pretty much in shambles at this point Clearly enjoying some stunning weather today here in Grand Gulch. And the thought that easily comes to mind here is just how spectacular yet uncrowded the scenery is. Of course, there's the high concentration of the Anastasi ruins, higher than I've ever seen anywhere else. But I've got it all to myself here on the middle day of what's probably gonna be a two night stay here in the back country. And it's worth pointing out too that if you're in a position where you're frustrated by the crowds at a place like Grand Canyon or Canyonlands National Park and their $30 backcountry permit, 
put in a little extra effort to come down here to the Grand Gulch area where the backcountry permit is only eight dollars and perhaps just as spectacular I mean it's of course it's a different texture and aesthetic than you'll get uh, compared to Grand Canyon or Canyonlands but really a great option if you're wanting to avoid the crowds especially midweek and late October here you can see that the weather's quite nice yeah it was a little cold overnight it'll take you a little extra time to get here but I would say it's well worth the extra drive time to have quite a bit of extra space to enjoy the uh, Red Rock Canyon country that's for me just as spectacular as other parts of northern Arizona and southern Utah. This particular scene here in Grand Gulch has just a ton of fragmented ruins. The longer I look at it, the more I'm able to see crumbling off of the uh, side of the canyon here. So far I'm counting up to 15 or so pieces of structure, certainly built to last, the building techniques that they used. This has got to be the most elaborate that I've seen so far. Perhaps these wall pieces were all joined together at one time. Panning up a little higher. You can see a few different structures there. And another wall lower down above the alcove. And yet another ruin that I didn't see until coming up and getting a closer look. It's this little guy. And it looks like some of the rocks from the wall perched on top of the alcove have crumbled down right here. Tent camping is not allowed near the Anastasi ruin sites, nor in the alcoves here. just below the spring up Shake Canyon, which is about three quarters of a mile from Grand Gulch. Certainly the most impressive panel of pictographs that I've seen so far. 
upon taking a closer look we can see just how grand this panel of pictographs is. It's amazing how long the paint has lasted, at least 700 years, between the sort of maroon paint and the black paint that we see here. I don't know that modern paint is even built to last that long. In addition to that, there's some other artifacts like a corn cob. Another old corn cob here. And even a ammo box with some information, so let's have a look. This raven seems especially fond of this green mask archaeological site area here. Pretty special. Definitely has a sacred feeling to it. Not really knowing much about pictographs and petroglyphs. Look forward to reviewing the material that was contained in the ammo info box on the site there. Beautiful crescent moon out tonight here at the junction of Grand Gulch and Shakes Canyon and a bat to keep me company as well. on the next Backpacker Diaries. Overall, I've got roughly nine miles to go to exit out the top past Perfect Kiva and Jailhouse Ruin. Perfect Kiva represents the rare archeological site that actually set up to be stable enough to allow the general public. 